Hey guys, Shane here, Crypto Fish YouTube channel. So today we got a little Monero mining tutorial, uh, both AMD and NVIDIA GPUs, and also on Windows and SMOS. And by the way, I am in the house again. All right, be back in a bit. Okay, real quick before we go on, guys, I got something going on called Bitcoin Fridays, um, where I give away Bitcoin every Friday. So if you're new here, be sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell below, so that when the Enter to Win video comes out, you'll be notified. All right. So with that, let's get into how to mine uh, Monero. All right. So if you've been over to what to mine lately, um, Monero, at least for the AMD GPUs, is really good. Um, it's top of the list right now. So here we are on what to mine. And um, as you can see, I've selected uh, my AMD GPUs right there. You would click calculate. Scroll down. Monero is right there near the top of the list. Um, not doing very good as far as uh, my rigs, but in any event, it's really good for AMD GPUs, but I'll show you how to do both. Um, if you have an NVIDIA rig and you want to mine it, um, mine Monero with your uh, NVIDIA GPUs. I really don't know why. I'll show you real quick. It's not as profitable. So my other rig is a 1070 Ti and a 1060. So let me scroll down. And as you will see, Monero is way down here. On my At least on my 1070 Ti and my 1060 rig. But anyways, I'll show you both. All right, so simple mining. We'll get that one out of the way real quick. So we will go over to rig groups. We would want to create a group. Um, we're going to be using the XMR stack uh, miner, which is just, it's a really good miner. I use it on quite a few coins when I do these tutorials. And it's really easy to use, um, especially on the Windows. And even here, it's even easier. Um, I always select the latest version, which is right here, 2.4.7. So you would select Miner. Um, group name for the purposes of this video uh, would be, I guess, Monero. Group description, I can be AMD rig. Uh, dash, maybe even Monero there. You can do whatever you want. It's not really that big of a deal. So what is important is right here. Um, <clears throat> let me copy that real quick. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let me pull up my notepad. So in that little blank, this is what the information you'll need. Currency, Monero 7. You'll definitely need that. You'll need your pool that you're using and port number right here. And then, of course, your username is your wallet. But in my case, uh, <clears throat> um, it's the username for Mining Pool Hub. So in the case of Mining Pool Hub, you could find an information. Here I am in Mining Pool Hub. You could scroll down over to Monero, click on Monero. And right here, your server name, you would just copy that, put it in your pool address. And of course, like I said, my uh, username is Ritz a million. Um, like you see here and dot EMD rig, that's just an identifier to let, um, let you know, or let the pool know and me know what rig is mining that particular coin. So you would just copy that. I'll have this down in the description, so you can just edit it as you please. So we back head back over to Simple Mining, and you would just paste that in there. Click Add Group. So right now we should have Monero right here, AMD Rig Dash Monero. Go back to Rig List. Uh, this is my AMD, AMD Rig, Nvidia Rig. Both of them are not online now using SMOS, but all you would do was select that rig, assign group, 
find the one you just made, which is Monero, and click Save. So now you would have it right there. And then, of course, it would boot up using your SMOS system, and you would be good to go. It's as simple as that. So what do we do for... Um, it would be the same thing also for uh, NVIDIA as well. AMD and NVIDIA work on XMR stack. So now what will we do for Windows? Well, here we are on Windows. My handy dandy little miner's wallet. XMR stack, you can get that from GitHub. A link will be in the description down below. So you would download that. Here it is right here. You would just click on it, right click, extract all. As usual, I like to name my miners what they are. So I would name it Monero. Just, I think I'm pretty sure I don't have Monero on here, right? No, I don't. So I can just leave it like that. Click extract. And here is my Monero in my little miners list. So I'll double click on that, go in here. And all you gotta do is double click on the XMR stack. It'll give you that little uh, arrow error, and it just walks you through the list. Okay, so um, unlike screen display, browser interface is not affected by GPU lag. Do you want to use a HTTP interface? I don't, so I select zero for now. Um, we're going to be mining Monero 7, so there it is right there. So you would just enter M O N E R O 7. Click enter. Pool address. So we have that right here on our notepad. There we go. We would select that. In my case, of course, it's Mining Pool Hub. Whatever pool you're using and port, that's what you would put in here. You can control and paste. Wallet address. Of course, here we are again. Mine is ritzamillion.amdrig. If you don't want to use an identifier, then you don't have to. If it's just a normal wallet address you just use the normal wallet address so we go back over here paste that in password always x enter rig identifier um, it can be empty because i already put it up there dot amd rig um, does this pool support tsl ssl if you don't know just select no uh, do you want to use nice hash in my case no do you want to use multiple pools in my case no select enter miner will pull up we are on pools logged in already new block detected this may start lagging so i'm going to go ahead and stop but that's as easy as it is if you have um i got a 1050 ti on this laptop but and so you can fix it up right there i will show let me close out of this move this out of the way so now as you can see in your miners folder here it's added the pools nvidia cpu and config files that's all done automatically so if you had an amd um, setup on your um, mining rig it would be an amd folder it's just really as simple as that guys so all you would have to do from this point is double click on xmr stack it'll pull it up like it did before, automatically start mining. Another thing I like about mining Monero, um, it's really easy on your graphics cards and it doesn't draw as much power as um, what I was doing before, which was Ethereum Classic or Ethereum for that matter, or NiceHash for, to go further. So you can see what you're hashing out right here. You click H, so I got 270 total hashes. I got 52 on a CPU, 217 on a 1050 Ti. Click R for results. Haven't found any results yet. So you would just let that run and you would be good to go. Um, you would also want to make sure that you are showing up on your um, pool. So you would click dashboard and it'll show your hash rate right here this is for my uh, amd rig right now which uh, which is actually um, down a card right now and the motherboard is lightning damaged so it's not doing too good i actually got a new motherboard coming in today but 
that's all you would need to do. Obviously, once the miner is running and whatever you choose, whether it's simple mining or here on Windows, just make sure it's connected to the pool and your pool is showing your hash rate. Um, that's all you would want to do. So um, I guess it's going to be it for today, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, just put them down below. Again, Monero is going to be more favorable to mine with AMD cards rather than NVIDIA cards. But I figured I'd show you guys um, both. The XMR stack will pick up either one of them. Um, but yeah, if you got an AMD rig right now, um, as far as what to mine, let me show you again, 570, 580, calculate. Um, it's, well, there we go, just jump back up to the top. So, it's the top coin to mine right now, so I figured I would do a video on it and show you just how easy it is to set up whether you're using SMOS or Windows, okay? Uh, so with that, again, questions or comments, put them down below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, I will also have the Enter to Win video for Bitcoin Fridays, which came out yesterday, and I'll put that down in the first, um, first comment down below, okay? All right, guys. So with that, take care. Bye.